So this Photoshop tutorial is only a sample video showing you bits and pieces of the entire tutorial that you can locate on masterflash.net uh, where you can find source files and the entire tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this roll out for a little bit. Making duct tape. All right. No introduction for this one. We're just going to uh, hop right in and create this from scratch. So what I'd like to do is come up here to File, New. All right. I'm going to set my width at 800, height at 500, resolution at 300. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and fill our background up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and grab, I'm going to grab a darker gray. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to hit Shift Backspace. All right. With the foreground color, I'm just going to select OK. I'm going to add on another layer. Go ahead and call this one BG for background. Call this Duct Tape. All right. And uh, with this layer selected, I'm going to get my rectangular marquee tool. I'm just going to draw the strip of our duct tape right here. All right. And we need to fill this with a bit lighter color of gray. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come into the color picker. I'm just going to grab something in here, hit OK. I'm going to hit Shift Backspace. All right. Foreground color again. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And then uh, what we need to do is add some noise to this. So I'm going to come up to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And you kind of want to play around with this. I would go anywhere between 4 and 8. When you get above 8, you're going to have a little too much noise. All right. Obviously, I've been playing around with this, so it's uh, set for what I wanted at. But um, I would not go above 8 just because when we apply the pattern in a second, it's going to look a little bit different or messed up and not quite the actual uh, duct tape feel. All right. So for distribution, uniform, and make sure you have your monochromatic set up. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now the next thing that we need to do is actually add a texture to this. So let's go ahead and select filter, texture, texturizer. All right. And what we want to do is we want to grab the uh, canvas texture up here. All right. And for scaling, I would keep this below 80%. Obviously, if you want to uh, make it a little bit thicker or if you're working with a bigger piece of tape, then uh, that's what you can do. Okay, I'm just going to drop this down a little bit. And for the relief, obviously, depending on how shiny you want this, all right, you come up with it. It's going to get a little shinier. I guess it's all the quality of duct tape that you want to get. But I'm going to go ahead and leave mine at 5. And for the light, I would really go with left or uh, top left or top right. If you select top, you can kind of see that it gets not quite duct tape, but when you put the top left or top right, you kind of get the ridges in here that kind of go with the pattern that we're going to apply. All right, so once we got that done, go ahead and hit OK. And what we can do now is actually add a layer style to this. So with this layer selected right here, come into the effects icon, bevel and emboss, all right, and what we want to do here is we want to punch our depth all the way up to, not all the way up, all the way down to about, I don't know, three. All right, three is good. For the size, I'm going to make this zero. And down here for the highlight mode, I'm going to punch this down to 55%. For the opacity, I'm going to drop this down to about 30 all right, and what we need to do next is come over here and grab the texture. All right, and we need to make sure that we change our elements to the patterns. So if you click on this and then click on your drop down menu over here, go ahead and select patterns. What we're looking for are the. That is the end of this sample Photoshop tutorial. To view the entire tutorial and get your hands on source files, head towards masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.